eight, seven, five. We have engine ignition. Release. Engine at full thrust. Tower clear. Body 180 propellant utilization has gone to close loop control. The vehicle has begun the pitch yaw roll maneuver. Now 30 seconds into flight, vehicle is 0.6 miles in altitude, traveling at 939 miles per hour. Body 180 performance continues to look good at this time. Engine pump speeds and injector pressures are in family for this thrust level. Atlas vehicle attitude remains stable at this time. Attitude rates are near zero in all, in all axes. Now at T plus 70 seconds into flight, vehicle is four miles in altitude, 0.2 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,200 miles per hour. Mark one, Atlas is now supersonic. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The vehicle is now throttling down slightly. Our 180 engine parameters continue to look nominal after the prior adjustment to the thrust level. Approximately two minutes remain in the Atlas booster phase of flight. The Atlas V rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,600 pounds per second. Vehicle is now executing closed loop steering. Center 5 Central Reaction Control System is now pressurizing the flight levels. We are now just under three minutes into flight. Atlas is 33 miles in altitude, 59 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,600 miles per hour. All first stage vehicle systems are operating as expected at this time. The main engine is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Centaur has begun the boost phase chill-down sequence, and the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. Boost phase chill-down sequence has completed, and we have BICO, booster engine cutoff, and a successful stage separation event. Pre-start on the RL-10. And mess one, we have ignition for the first burn. We have indication of good payload fairing jettison.